Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Hit hire us or contact us. Fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel, all of our affiliate links are down below as, long, uh, as well as a Patreon link to sign up to become a patron. All right, so what we are going to talk about is the Synology. This is the RT6600AC, the new router from Synology. You can see this thing is pretty, pretty beefy compared to the uh, RTC2600AC. Uh, of course, we've got uh, two 5 gigahertz radios in here, and one of them can do the 5.9 gigahertz band. Um, and then we have the 2.4 gigahertz. And so it is AX ADA, uh, or Wi-Fi 6. And yes, Wi-Fi 6 works on 2.4 gigahertz as well. A lot of people uh, don't know that. And this thing is going to have a street price, an MSRP of $299.99 USD. And we're going to flip it around real quick. And you've seen a lot of routers in your time, but... The one big upgrade on this Synology router is right here is a 2.5 gig gigabit port, and it can either be a WAN port or a LAN port. So you can see I've got my LAN plugged in over here, but uh, we've got the four port switch here. One of the other big improvements in this model that I'm super excited about is this can actually do VLANs. So it can do the inner VLAN routing router on a stick, um, and so we don't need a switch to do that. So let's hop on over and we'll take a look. So familiar looking desktop here and you can see we've got safe access. So this is the first in the series for this, uh, the first video in the series for this router. But what I want to do is I want to show you first, we'll go to control panel. And we'll look at the system specs because I'm sure some of you, um, are interested in that. So uh, it is the RT6600AX. It has a Qualcomm Cypress IPQ6018 processor, quad core running at 1.8 gigahertz per core. Has a total physical memory of 832 megabytes. It's probably higher than that uh, because it's a really weird amount, but with the system services and things that are running, this is probably what we have access to. And you can see it is running SRM 1.3. So if you're running an RTC 2600 AC or a 1900 AC uh, or uh, the other Synology router model is escaping me at the moment, um, you are on SRM 1.2.5. Uh, and so, yes, SRM 1.3 is being released with this device. You can plug a hard drive into this so you can use NAS services. You can also put a 5G, 4G USB dongle into this. So other than that, the interface is going to look pretty familiar to you. We'll look at the Wi-Fi connect real quick. So if you don't believe me about the, uh, the radios, here's our three different setups. If we go to Wi-Fi settings and we go to radios, here you can see the 5 gigahertz radio 1. Uh, can do the 5.9 gigahertz uh, channel compatibility mode. And you can allow auto switch. You can allow auto switch to DFS channels, and you can also turn that off. So it won't auto roam to DFS channels, which is kind of nice, depending on where you're at. So we're going to get into a lot of this in the next video. But the one thing that I'm really excited about right now, if we go to Network Center, you're going to see my my WAN IP and all that good stuff, and that's fine. But what I'm really excited about is right here under local network. This is the first time that this is available with a Synology router. See this button that says VLAN tag? So if I click VLAN tag, I now can configure my VLAN tag. So you can see that the internet WAN uh, VLAN ID 0 is untagged on the WAN port. Guest network. VLAN ID 1733, which was automatically created by the Synology router, is tagged on all of the ports. And then the primary net network, VLAN 1, is untagged. And then we can configure 
um, trunk ports. So if we create a network and we're going to call this um, really test network, it wants to know what our local IP is. We'll leave it 3.1. That's fine. We can choose our subnet mask and we can get ludicrous. We could go down to a slash one. Crazy. We're going to stay with a slash 24. VLAN ID 10. We'll leave it at 10. Actually, we're going to change it to three because you know how I like uh, my, you know, one of my subnet uh, octets to match the VLAN ID. Then we have this option about allow managing router, Synology router through this network. So if we don't want to be able to manage the router from VLAN 3, we're going to leave this unchecked. If we want people, uh, users from VLAN 3 to be able to manage the router, we would check that box. Then we also have this other checkbox. This is enable network isolation. The communication between this network and other local networks will be blocked. We're going to uncheck that. We're going to go to next. Now we can assign ethernet ports to it here. Um, and it says, note, skip this step. If you want to create a completely wireless network. Well, we would like, uh, this to be tagged on, um, two and three. We could, we could, uh, skip this as well. Um, I'm plugged into port one. So we'll just, we'll do it on, we'll click port three and see what that looks like. And I'm not going to set up a wireless, but it gives us the option to set up a wireless network to attribute to this network. How cool is that? And uh, we're going to go ahead and click apply. It says it may take 10 to 30 seconds. But uh, what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks is this is going to be uh, the daily driver at the end, head end of our uh, Wi-Fi network. And uh, the kids are going to hate it because we're reinstituting the safe access. So if I, now if I go to VLAN tag, you can see what it did um, for VLAN 3. It untagged it on um, port 3. So if I want to configure a, uh, a trunk port, you can see that that is an access port on um, port 3. So if I would not have checked that other box, this would be tagged. But right now, port 3 is that. So... It's like any other vendor. It takes a few minutes to learn the ins and outs of how they do their VLANs. But once you get it, you're going to be just fine. There's some advanced settings here. Um, and here's kind of nice. Automatically change LAN IPs when detecting conflicts on the WAN subnet. So if you're double NATed, um, it's going to automatically be able to do that. We've got enable uh, DNS over HTTPS. So we can select that. Um, I'm not going to do that yet, but then we can choose the different, and we'll go ahead and say yes. Then we can choose the different uh, hosts, either Google or Cloudflare. Um, and then we can do enable multicast DNS relay. This option allows finding AirPlay Chromecast devices across local networks. Please make sure that network isolation is disabled on your targeted networks. Also allows printers to automatically be found across networks as well. So, um, what we can do then is we can also look at like our, our traffic control. This is really kind of all the same, um, as it, as it was before, which is what is really nice. You know, we knew the interface before we can come in here to the firewall. We can create, um, you know, firewall rules the way that we used to. The thing is, this thing has got quite a bit, you know, more horsepower than the RT 2600 AC. Uh, and I'm interested to see where they're going to go with this device. You know, we kind of asked them, Hey, take SRM and put it in a one U box with 10 gig NICs or multiple one gig NICs. Um, we didn't get that. We did get the, this new router, which is, which is nice. And as I've said all along, for me, the big selling point on this is the safe access. Um, and we're going to get into that. We're going to do a 2022, uh, setup video. But let me know what other videos you want to see. So we've got this and we've got, you know, uh, Unify and Grandstream. And so that's kind of like what the rest of the year is going to be about is, is the different networking that's from these three companies. We might sprinkle a little QNAP in there. Not sure about that. But let me know what you want to know 
about this new Synology router. We'll we'll do tests for you. We'll do, you know, shorts where we answer some questions and things like that. Otherwise, the next video you see on this is going to be setting up some VLANs, setting up safe access. And that's a really nice thing too, right, about this being able to do the VLANs is that uh, you can do safe access across the VLANs. So let me know what you want to see, what questions are. I'm, like I said, I'm really excited because... We've got this router that can now do VLANs with the safe access with a little bit more oomph. And so it shouldn't have any problem being at the head of a, uh, a modest home network, right? Once again, let me know down in the comments what you want to see. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. Our affiliate links are down below. The link to hires for IT consulting is down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.